what's up guys welcome back once again it is meme so happy to be here with you guys with another episode of crazy loot raids look at this one this has almost 800,000 in resources and you know that legend warrior is absolutely loving that you can see that the majority of the resources are inside the mines and pumps so he's just going to start off with deploying just a couple of troops uh, which is super super easy and obviously doesn't cost that much elixir um, sorry that I don't have a face cam in this guys. I am at home for vacation right now So we're just gonna be voicing over um, these videos We're gonna try and do some a little bit later like I said in a tweet many of you may have seen I have a new series coming out for this Thanksgiving weekend that I'm super super excited about But let's go ahead and get back to the raid so you can see that legend right now is just dropping off um, a small amount of his troops uh, the majority of his uh, Of this defenders collectors are within the wall so he's gonna have to deploy a little bit heavier than uh, he has so far so let's go ahead and see what he does you can see he's deploying from the top because there is that dark elixir up there as well as all of those gold mines and that expo of both of the expos um, are completely out of elixir so they are not able to shoot any of his troops so he's just going to continue uh, working at it from the top of the base you can see those barbarians are heading in the top um, and the side right there so they're going to get in there that mortar is going to do a good amount of damage to them but hopefully he will be able to take out um, a lot of the resources. You can see he's already gotten over 250,000 in gold, um, pushing his way up to 300,000 now, and hasn't even deployed the majority of his, troop, of his troops. He still has about 70 or 80 troops left over. Um, but here go the rest of those barbarians. They're going to head in there and take out that last gold mine, um, and then that is going to almost be it for the gold. It looks like uh, the rest of the gold is going to be in the storages, so he's going to have to deploy uh, pretty heavily from the bottom now to get the rest of that elixir. So he has 357 gold right now, and he's heading in for the rest of that 218,000 elixir that is left over. So um, hopefully his archers will get in there. There they go. We're going to speed this up a little bit, and he is going to take out all of that loot. There is that one gold mine towards the bottom that those that, that lonely archer was working on, but was not able to finish it. So. Right now he has 357,000 gold. You can see 286,000 elixir. That was a crazy, crazy loot raid. Let's move on to uh, Pooh Bear 18. He's in Eliminate Farms as well. And once again, guys, another collector raid. But this base actually has um, the uh, the expos actually have ammunition in them. So that's going to cause a little bit of a problem for him as he uh, works in here. We're going to fast forward just a little bit to get all these troops out um, and see how we do. So he's heading in the top trying to get all of that dark elixir. Looks like it's about 2,000 or so uh, total on the base. He's already got 1,900 of it. We're going to deploy from the side as well right there. And he's going to head in there. He's got a couple wall breakers to get his troops inside to all that gold. And he is taking it out very, very quickly. Um, he's deployed the majority of his troops, but he's definitely got to deploy heavier up at the top to get the rest of that elixir. So there's 271,000 gold so far. Looks like there's actually um, 150,000 in the storages, which you wouldn't really think by looking at it because they look pretty empty. Um, so that was definitely deceiving from a graphical standpoint. But he is heading in from the top right now with his clan castle and the rest of his archers and barbarians. And they are going to town on that elixir up at the top. Um, he's got 252,000 of it so far. And once again, guys, there's over 100,000 in the middle of the base. Um, and with Barch, you're not going to get into the middle unless you uh, deploy heavily from one side. Uh, but obviously, once again, from looking at the base, you wouldn't think that. But there we go, 271,000, 252,000 elixir, and 1,900 dark elixir. So this base is another collector raid, guys, by Legend the Warrior, once again, uh, coming in with two videos in this. Um, he is going to completely destroy this base in absolutely no time. Um, already over almost 300,000 gold and 200 and still going up with the elixir. 296,000 uh, elixir. Let's see if he can break 300 on these. It looks like he's going to get pretty close, but he only has a couple minions left over. If they can head in and take out that wizard tower, then that is going to be huge for them. Uh, there they go. Now they can actually move in towards that other uh, elixir story. So he's got over 300,000 gold, guys, and almost, there it goes, over 300,000 elixir as well. So that right there is a great raid. There comes that air bomb, and it is going to take out the rest of his troops. That was a great, great find on uh, Warrior's part. And now we're going to head into the last video for the thing. Uh, guys, this is Josh. He was in uh, in the first video, I believe. Look at the Dark Elixir on this base. It is absolutely ridiculous. 4,000 Dark Elixir is a great, great find. So if I'm him, I'm thinking, all right, do I want to go for everything else or do I want to go for the Dark Elixir? 
And from the look of things, he's going to be going for the Dark Elixir. You can see that he's clearing out the bottom portion of this base. That guy does have a dragon in his clan castle, which is an enemy of Barch because it will come in and completely destroy your archers and your barbarians. As you can see, the uh, the archers aren't even really focused on it, but it finally goes down after destroying a whole bunch of his troops. This guy does have maxed out mortars as well, which are not good for Barch. Um, He's already deployed the majority of his troops. He does still have his queen, and we know that she can get in there to that Dark Elixir. Um, he's only gotten about 50,000 gold and 42,000 Elixir, but once again, guys, this, this video uh, and this footage is about that Dark Elixir right there. You can see it is just sitting there ready to be stolen. Um, so he's going to go ahead and deploy over here on the Town Hall to make sure that he gets that star. Uh, oh no, Giant Bomb, because <laughs> if he gets that star, then he's going to get that loot bonus. Um, I'm not too sure if he gets it, but he definitely needs to drop down his queen towards the bottom to take out the rest of that Dark Elixir. So there she goes. She's just going to hop in there and take all of that Dark Elixir out, guys. Over 4,000 Dark Elixir and the one star plus a loot bonus. That is going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.